one of the most important um, concepts and, one, uh, and understandings that you need to have as, as a business, as an author, as a speaker, as a, as a thought leader, is that content is key to this. So if you're on social media, if you're online anywhere, having good quality, relevant content is an absolute must. And with content, you also need keywords. And keywords are the words that your customers use to find you. So when you look at a search engine, when you look at any sort of search function on, on any website on the, on the internet, you need to have a set of keywords that describe your business. Now, we used to have them in, if you imagine a high street, a shopping high street, where we had signs outside the shops. And that is a keyword. So as you walk down the shop, you see greengrocer, butcher, baker, and candlestick maker in the good old days. And so your world needs to have keywords. And those keywords that you'd see on a high street need to be online. And when you're writing any content, if you're writing just a tweet, which is 140 characters, or if you're writing a Facebook update or blog, or if you're writing a book, then having content that's, that's relevant and good quality, but with keywords in, so that people can find your message and understand that if you are talking about this certain topic, they can find you, they find your video because it has the keywords, they find your blog because it has the keywords, they find your Facebook page because it has the keywords. And so keywords really do fundamentally underpin everything that you as a person, as a thought leader and as a business do online. To, to find your keywords is, is probably the question that I get asked the most is how do I find my keywords? And there's no one single answer. There's a few places where you can find it. The first place I always say is ask your customers. So when your customers are, are looking for you, what do they type in? What do they actually physically type into Google and the search engines? And from that, that will give you a set of words and phrases to then really funnel down to the exact keywords that you are you are, want to be known for and that you're, you're setting up for. And again, it's going back to think about you know, a high street and shops. People know what a greengrocer is. So if you're writing a book on old cars, your keywords are probably vintage cars, old cars. It's definitely got to have cars in it. And it's probably vintage old, or it could be vintage and old cars. So it's really getting down to the words that people use to describe your business, your book, your thought leader, and, and just expanding those slightly to really refine the exact messages that you're trying to give and the exact products and services that you're actually trying to sell. In terms of number of keywords, there's no, no sort of um, restriction. You can have a million keywords if you want. It, it wouldn't work at all if you had that many, but you could. The ideal number of keywords is probably three to four um, because people type in to Google two, three, four, five words. And so you want to be those keywords. Um, so if you run an e-commerce business and you're writing about e-commerce, e-commerce training consultancy are probably three words that you would want to be known for and talk about so that everything that you do, everything that you write online should have those keywords in. And also from a, a very technical website point of view, on your website and on your blog, you need to have these words in the title and in other parts of the website because Google will look at these words and they'll say, this person is always talking about e-commerce. This person is always talking about the e-revolution. I can see it because it's in the title of his website, it's in every blog that he talks about, and it's on his tweets. And so this person must be an expert and must know about the e-revolution. And so picking your keywords, two, three, four, maximum four, is really important. And then using those consistently through everything that you write about, talk about, 
and any videos that you publish online. Not having good keywords will make you invisible, basically. You will not be found if you don't have good keywords and use them consistently because people will not find you. You will not be on the top one or two pages of Google search, which is where we normally all start our search, or YouTube, which is very popular now. You won't be on the first couple of pages of those. So your role and your goal should be for your keywords to be the top page or the top two pages of, of Google, of YouTube, of a search engine. And not having good keywords and consistent keywords means that you don't exist. You're not a thought leader. You're not a business provider in that. You're not an author because you don't come up on those pages and it means that you don't exist. You are not there. In terms of um, a technical process, once once you know, once you believe you know what your keywords are, once you've spoken to your customers, done your research, you can actually use um, the keyword tool that's in Google. Um, and anybody can sign up to a Google account. It's very simple to open a Google account and you can just Google keyword tool and it will <laughs> tell you how to do it. And in that tool, part of the, the, the sort of program that, that Google runs is it tells you how many people search for those keywords. So you can, for example, if you're a physical business and you're selling shirts, you can type in shirts and it will tell you that quite a few million people each day search for shirts. So you don't want to compete with those. You want to compete with a smaller number of words, a smaller number of, of competitors, and that would be more keywords. So maybe luxury white shirts. And the keyword tool will say, actually, people who search for these also search for these keywords. So it's a process of, of elimination, of, of finding your best route. It's, it's a combination of your customer, of what you know is your business, and then using these keyword tools to see what the people on the internet do, what they search. And, and Google Keywords is, tool is probably the best, best place for that. Yeah.